Hi everyone, welcome back to the RSA video series. In this part, we'll look at the integration between robot structural analysis and advanced yield. So we'll start off with advanced yield. We have a pre-developed model in advanced yield. So let's say the detailer has prepared the preliminary model and that is what needs to be shared with the structural engineer to perform the analysis. So we can export this model from advanced yield in the SMLX format. Uh, again, we've used the same particular workflow even when we want to share models between advanced steel and Revit. So again, using the advanced export tool, we can prepare the SMLX file, which can then be used by the structural engineer to prepare the model in robot. Now switching over to robot, we can start a new project. And under the add-ins tab, we'll find the advanced still add, uh, add-in to import data from advanced steel. Now this add-in can be installed directly from the Autodesk App Store. So if you just search for Robot Advanced Steel link, depending on what version of Robot and Advanced Steel you are using, you can find the corresponding utility. Once it is installed, you can make use of it to export data, import data or even synchronize data on existing projects. There are a couple of options of how you can import the data. Uh, you can choose to only import the structural elements. That is what we are choosing in this particular code. You can also import certain objects, certain AutoCAD objects as references uh, in case you want to make use of them while defining loads or uh, for cert certain other purposes. So even that option is also available. In this case, uh, we, we have chosen to omit that particular option. Now, while uh, advanced seal, while advanced seal objects are imported in robot, it will, robot will try and identify whether all the requisite section profiles from the advanced seal objects are available within its database. If it is not able to map certain object profiles, it will ask you to map them uh, manually. So here is where we are mapping the angle sections because of a slight difference in terms of the nomenclature between the robot uh, profile, the robot section database profile name and the advanced seal uh, profiling. So in this case, we can quickly do the mapping for those objects. Once we've done the mapping, uh, we can again start the import process and takes just a tad bit to complete the import of objects. So here again, we can map even the materials in case uh, the material nomenclature is different. Now, once the import is complete, we can look at the entire model and we can validate the properties of the objects uh, to ensure that uh, the properties have been imported correctly. So we can select a few of these objects to identify what is the section profile or what are the details that have been bought in from advanced yield and whether they are accurate or not. Then once the model is imported successfully, we can go about our workflows in robot uh, that we've already had, have discussed in the past videos. Uh, so we can define our boundary conditions, we can define our load conditions, uh, we can perform the structural analysis on this model. So in the interest uh, of everyone, I've already prepared this model, I've added the load cases, I've added uh, the boundary conditions, the support, uh, fixed supports for all these elements. So here you can quickly look at the different load cases that I've added. So a couple of dead load cases, a couple of live load cases, also added a combination, load combination. So you can quickly visualize all those different uh, loads that we've added to the element. And also because we've performed the analysis, we can validate uh, the different membered forces. So whether it be the bending moments or the shear forces. So all these elements already, uh, you know, all the results are already available within the model. So we can validate it according to different load conditions as well. Likewise, we can visualize the deflections or displacements for these elements. Now, once the results are available, we can then transfer these results back to advanced steel. Now, this particularly becomes useful in case of designing our joints. Now, all the joint forces are automatically transferred. So if you can see, when I'm exporting the result, I have this option to export the result with the calculation results. So in this case, it will automatically transfer 
the joint forces, the different load cases uh, that I have defined in robot back into advanced seal. And then I can use the connection design engine of advanced seal to design my connections as per the results of robot. So it takes just a few seconds to quickly transfer the model. So now we are back uh, in advanced seal. We can use the advanced uh, synchronized tool to synchronize the results. So now we will just quickly give the path of the same file and here you will see it will automatically identify where exactly the changes have happened within the model. So it will identify since we have not made any changes to the members the only change that has happened is to the joints. So it will load up the list of joints uh, where the changes have happened. So then we can ask it to apply the action and you will see it automatically populate flags across each and every joint. So if I just select this flag and go to the properties, you will see it gives me the details of that joint as well as what are the different forces uh, that that particular joint is being subjected to based on the different load cases uh, that we've created. Now we can go ahead about our workflow of doing connection design uh, using these forces. So let's say if I want to quickly do the base plate connection design. So I have this joint design tool depending on what code I refer, whether it's the American code or the European codes. Um, I can use the load cases from robot and you will see all the forces there. And then once we check the results, it will give us the results whether we are passing the design or failing the design uh, and produces the detailed calculation report. So in a gist, that's the workflow of how robot and advanced seal can work in tandem and how it simplifies the workflow between the detailer and the structural engineer to not just develop the model, do the analysis, but also do design of different members where, where the structural engineer can take, uh, you know, do the, do the member design in robot. The connection design can also be done in advanced seal. With that, I come to the end of this video. Uh, thank you so much for your time.